Swipe your finger in from left to right. This will bring up the clock with the date and the time, and it brings up the, what's called the charms menu. So here is the search icon, which allows you to search your tablet or the internet for things. Uh, the share allows you to share with other people who have a Windows tablet. Start will bring you back to start if you're not on the start menu when you're on the charms menu. And it'll bring you back to the last page you were on if you are looking at the, at the main menu. Uh, devices will allow you to connect to any devices like printers or speakers that you've got that work with the tablet. And then settings is going to be where you can set up things like your screen brightness and rotation, keyboard, volume. You can turn it off with the power button here. Uh, notifications and personalization to change the color of the screen and uh, things with tiles. And then if you need help, you can click the help one to get to the Windows website for help. If you want to see what programs are running, bring your finger out and then in, just making a big kind of U motion. You can see I've got three programs running. So if I want to look at that one, I just click that one. This is the song I'm working on. And if I want to close that program so it's not sucking up resources in the background, I can just swipe all the way from top to bottom. And then if we look again, it's not running anymore and using up resources. And if I go to this program, let's say I want to change the settings for this. You can, any program, if you scroll from the top down to the middle of the screen, it'll bring up all the options that you have in that program. So you can change different things about how the program works. And if I want to leave it open, not close the program all the way, but leave it running in the background, I hit the little Windows button in the middle of the screen here. And then if I scroll up from the main menu here, it shows me all of the programs that are on the computer. So I can swipe through them and either start them from there, or if I hold it down, push it and hold it down, I get this option that says pin to start. So if I click that, it's going to take Music Maker Jam and pin it to the start. And then if I click that and wait, then it's going to let me move it over to wherever I want. So let's say I put it there. That way next time I want to make music. And then if I tap it again, the options go away and everything locks into place. If I want to make music now, I can just click Music Maker Jam and I'm right there. If you're browsing the internet and you have multiple tabs open, you just scroll up from the bottom to see the different tabs. And you can click it and then put that away and be able to go from from tab to tab, so you can have multiple tabs open, but they don't get in your way. All you're looking at is internet on this. Pretty nice design. If you don't like being in tablet mode and you want to operate as if it were a desktop PC, you just click the desktop icon from the main menu, and that'll bring you to a more desktop-looking version. Even Internet Explorer is going to open up and act just like it would on your desktop PC. And if you want to go back to tablet mode, in the lower left corner, you just click the little window, and that takes you back here. I recommend taking the time to get used to this because it's pretty cool once you get used to it.